So this video is more related to how many worlds are there? Sometimes you may say worlds of planets. Or sometimes you might say worlds of dimensions. Well, I, I somehow would not classify to uh, <coughs> which and who, what world is it or planet, but the thing is that it's really different. Uh, it would be easy to classify. And uh, then how many worlds have I noticed? Uh, well, first of all, <laughs> it's this world right here. And the interesting thing about this world is that it's so complex and so compressed with many other worlds. Uh, like, uh, it's, uh, everything is like put together and the variety of things are put together and compressed right here. Uh, some, sometimes you may say we are humans, but as souls uh, which are living inside of us and humans, uh, many times those are aliens, uh, sometimes dinosaurs, sometimes uh, different species. So I would say that uh, many times when uh, people ask Enrico, uh, are there aliens out there? And he says, uh, well, uh, look at mirror, you're a complete alien yourself. Meaning that many people come from, many souls come from many other, other worlds here to have their experience, whatever they need. And this is an issue many times. I, have, I know a friend who's an alien. I know a friend who's a dinosaur. I know a woman who's an eagle. I know a woman who is uh, from the angels world. I know uh, a man who was previous life a human being. And... Uh, there are many, many, many uh, people, but that, it doesn't mean that his soul is a dinosaur soul or anything else, but it means that he has also an experience in different lifetimes as that animal or as that soul, and he has the uh, soul's char characters uh, that come also from that places. And I've seen many, I've seen many different uh, them. Uh, the next interesting thing is the next interesting planet is the planet of Enrico. And through him, I have seen many other planets, not planets, but worlds. And uh, his world is filled with uh, what I, one time I asked him, uh, and so when we talk about him, he's already here. One time I asked him, uh, uh, is, uh, uh, what is the easiest name for us to know that will most likely describe his world? He said sun world or world of sun and uh, that's what I understood oh, yeah, that's the most that's the word what I would uh, understand it most, most easily and to describe his world his world is made out of energy of the sun uh, light of the sun the same color as the sun and everything there manifests uh, it's like it's not like it manifests it's like the energy the golden yellow white like energy it's a mixture of colors and it sometimes changed to other it somehow uh, when you imagine something uh, through that light and with that light that thing manifests like it folds up and creates like uh, imagine water if you tell water hey turn into a horse the water turns into a horse the uh, shape of a horse so it's a uh, that's this thing right there also and they and they uh, what's the interesting thing I asked lately about them is like why so many times when we talk about okay I was going on the street and then something happened to me and he's like okay okay wait you were going on the street down the street he's like yes and he's like okay and they imagine that somebody is going like this on the street and I ask him why what do you ask this why do you tell this many times and then he started to laugh and he said well, they don't experience movement at all. They experience some movement, but they don't experience a physical movement, as like walking, talking, uh, some some place. Like uh, they don't go from uh, our house to to s store, for example, how I drive right here. Uh, they uh, somehow the energy is like match together, and then you're instantly there. It's like if you are in a complete fog, fog somehow levitating or approximately or levitating as such or some in that way in a fog of yellow golden light and shiny and happy all the time uh, and then you get closer to an idea that you want to meet a friend of yours a girlfriend or friend 
and all of a sudden she knows that and your worlds mer merges together and she somehow like has a, how I see it just walks out of that fog and you suddenly see him and your realities match together like your energies match together and they are like not going anywhere they're like constantly like shifting uh, through this like floating out floating in to this and uh, many times when there is an inter interesting conversation between the audience and him uh, sometimes it's like out of nowhere like 30 other beings like jump in uh, jump in and like looking at the man that is so interesting uh, this conversation is an interesting conversation and if it gets boring they just go away and there's Enrico alone and if it's Enrico alone boring they go he, he goes away also the thing is that many people say they try to communicate with Enrico's world and they cannot do anything just other than laugh well yeah that's because they are in a complete and the highest excitement all the time it's like uh, if you want to go there they will be so excited of you that you enter his world and they will be like oh my god something interesting well, oh. and it's like uh, the body's reaction to it is a complete laughter and also from his world from Enrico's world there are also I have seen some people who has the soul also from them and I have also soul from them it's not like my soul comes from or originates from them it's like I I was there and I have this energy from them also here and what I understood their energy is like it, uh, it can move through and communi communicate through uh, dimensions and it's like uh, and also this excitement when you feel that you want to laugh and everybody is boring then you definitely know that you are some from them and also when you have the excitement do something you want to run do 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 then you're also from them or for like and uh, what I've seen also through him from up for for uh, for other worlds I think I drove the wrong road hmm. okay whatever I will, I will figure it out how to get there The next thing about the other world is, uh, I ask him, are there more exciting uh, other, where do you go, like, do you get to other worlds, other places? He said yes, and he showed me that like a party place. It's also a world alike as Enrico's world, but there is full of party dwarfs, I don't know how you say, the uh, Santa has this assistance and they look like dwarfs or something. The, small elves, I think it was elves, and they, they, there is a fool of those small dwarves or elves, I don't know how to say, and they have these party hats, they are small, they have a big nose and a big jaw, and uh, this place, I don't know whether it's a jaw, cheek, big cheek, and they're like constantly all the time partying, they're like party, party, and every time there's a table with cakes and candles and they're like partying all the time they're like partying all the time there's always uh, music uh, dances uh, hysterical laughter and like doo -doo 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 and like woo and then when I saw that place it started to laugh and they said that they also go there to like charge up with fun and when Enrico showed that they went there the dwarves the elves like jump on him like on the shoulder on the hand and they're like party party and they're like uh, really highly partying people and there are this other world dwarves or elves I don't know how to say them um, uh, I have seen also souls from that places they, those are uh, working they like want to work they're like I've seen one engineer physical engineer he's like man I want to create this I want to create this no maybe I should try this no maybe I should I just and just working working and creating and creating he's like a machinery he's like doing something all the time and he cannot rest one minute he wants to create something wants to create something wants to create something and uh, so uh, also from that world there are mm, some souls here and uh, dragon worlds I I've heard them I have seen souls from them but I have never uh, I have never talked I, I never entered this world that world uh, dark people like evil people no I haven't seen any uh, but I have seen aggression 
about aggression and anger and strength that's like uh, it's not like he originates from that place it's like he has a connection with that energy I have seen also brown energy brown red like energy which it, what it means is like those people are more like uh, fight and war oriented at like uh, strength oriented and they want to like uh, feel powerful they want to feel powerful they want to feel like they have the strength and these are people like you would say they, they, their abilities and their places you will find somewhere where there is uh, an experience of to like I'm the man I'm the man also alcoholics uh, I, I channeled one being a uh, soul who is also with this brown energy and he was an alcoholic. Why he was alcoholic? Because he wanted, only then he feels the expression as man, I'm somebody, I'm somebody, I'm now powerful and he's like feels the man again. And when he stops drinking, he feels like a weak boy, he cannot lift up heavy weights, he cannot do anything and he feels really weak. And uh, in that world, uh, I have heard other channeler who has entered that world, uh, she said that uh, there's like a constant drum music, like a war drum music. And there's like power and strength in them. And those those souls, they don't come here to like experience love or something. They come here to experience, I have the power or something. I have the strength. I have seen also one lady from that world and she, she has a house, a man who drinks, um, uh, like this uh, farm. And she expresses her strength that she wants to take care of everything. She will do anything what it takes. And she, like man, you sit down, stop drinking, children go to school, uh, the farm, cows, cattle, you do this and this. And she manages everything. She experiences this energy, strength as, uh, as in this expression. Uh, also, I've, I've seen ant worlds, uh, tree worlds. There are also planets where there is only the highest expression of trees, highest expression of trees, you know, bushes and everything, but it's like something uh, in the movie Avatar, it's like a planet only with trees, only with mountains and trees, and it's like a really beautiful nature planet, and this planet is somewhere in the Pleiadian, Pleiadian worlds, Pleiadian star system, and there is also one human star uh, near Sar Sirius, I've seen, uh, okay, let's park somewhere here, and uh, and there are many other human human type of uh, planets uh, that humans can inhabit and humans inhabit other planets uh, freely. Uh, what else I have seen? Uh, wait, let's check the time. Alright, I have some time. Uh, what else I have seen? I have seen... Uh, wait. Uh, wait one moment. So about the Pleiadian system, uh, star system, it's basically a human colonized uh, star system, uh, the, the, the Pleiadians, but there are many, many star systems. And there was, I also was watching the how, how, Billy Mayer video about the real UFO uh, case. And there was a woman, they said that she's from Pleiadians. And uh, I, I see this woman's picture and she comes to me. I talk, you're from Pleiadians? She said, no, Pleiadians. It's a different system from the Pleiadian system, but there are many humanoid, human created planets. It's something like imagine in Norway there is a coastal, and then there is many other uh, planets. Uh, islands, small islands where there's somebody is living, so the Pleiadian system, star system is the same, it's like consists of some huge planets and then there's like a, a exclusively small uh, planets around them, smaller planets, uh, there are planets when there is only dinosaur inhabited, there is planets when there is only tree inhabited, they're like create this uh, nature bank, like they are really, and the Pleiadians they said to me that I'm, I'm aggressive, and they imagine if me who I think doesn't have a problem with aggression uh, feels aggressive and I will explain how does how did I meant this it's because I'm like hey come here come here come here and I have this strong intention of something to talk with them to like 
meet them and they are like they they don't or she doesn't have the wish or the will to meet me because I'm too aggressive I'm uh, uh, and they are like like small children nice family uh, sweet uh, playful loving caring and pure pure and sensitive I would say and uh, all they all I understood they care about is nature they care about these people they care about his love and they care about uh, living in a harmony which is not happening right here at the moment if you cut down a tree and you're a lady and you will start to cry uh, if you if you kill a chicken eat it it will they also will start to cry and it's like it's like really unbalanced way and they have this the Pleiadians they are fix basically a f uh, future human civilization and uh, <clears throat> which evolved from us and they travel to another star system and uh, then they come here and, and back in time and to like meet us talk us change us explore us and through them I understood that uh, what a time actually is travel time time space travel it's like basically if you go to uh, you know, if you go back in time to for example, you live a thousand years and then you decide to come back here and tell, hey man, you're you're living it wrongly, you should change something. And you change them. And that, that uh, Earth, that planet which you changed is following a completely different path. So it's basically uh, that world, that um, planet is going a completely different path so you from that point from the thousand years in the future you can go and check uh, how the planet is evolving in uh, the new path the path they have chosen and study from this learn from this and see how they are doing like take this step take, take this technology don't do wars do wars um, I don't know uh, evolve medita uh, meditation evolve medicine you know something change change there and uh, it will follow a completely different path. Uh, then there is digital worlds, and then there are uh, alien type of worlds. They also some of them have planets. Some of them live in uh, some kind of digital world, and so electrically completely in different world uh, where nobody has access to. Even if you are born there, when you come back, you have the memories. But after then, everything is completely changed because the evolution there happens so strongly, and everything changes all the time, changes all the time, and you 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 cannot make a contact with them. They are so isolated, you would say. And I channeled the alien from there, and it was like, man, so disgusting feeling. It's like uh, I feel like under an electric shock or something. And you're like, oh man, I don't want to talk to you anyway. But they are so fastly intelligent; they can read your thought before you even uh, desire or wish and they will instantly say no to you because they don't have any benefits of it, of it. and they always check through benefits whether it's a benefit to them and uh, what else uh, there are the digital worlds as pixels only uh, pixel worlds oh, there's a dots of light and uh, it's like digital world only dots of colorful lights uh, nothing there uh, some symbol worlds and the only symbols also nothing there uh, what else was the world of heaven uh, which is uh, what the all religions are talking about uh, it's really a place where you enter and you just want to stay there you want, don't want to go away you don't want to it's like a, the soul's place it's like the pure love pure awareness pure I don't know your soul feels that I'm finally home that's what it feels and from that they start to cry cry and it's like really and it's like uh, pure liberation of suffering there it's like when you enter there you just feel no more suffering at all no more no more no more and it's like a really pure place and you have no thoughts there also no desire to have any wish no desire to be as something you are like completely free and relaxed that's the angel world or that's the soul's world uh, what else uh, I've seen also some different worlds also where nothing is happening oh yeah the big-headed aliens who, whose genetic was like frog-like and they are like 
you talk with them, they don't understand anything. And they think that inside their big heads, there is so much to discover and they don't know that they are actually channeling. They sit down, they come and they think that because they have a big head, there is lots of things inside of that head. And then they try to like meditate and enter their heads to like what else is there to find something else. And when somebody, when I was channeling them and asked in which star system you are, they said star system, what is a star system? And then the man started explaining what is a star and he said, oh my God, my head starts to hurt. And he said, how can you think so much? How can you speak so many words? I ask you only three words, but you reply me in many, many, many words. And he was like, his head started, his big head started to hurt and he wanted to stop talking because his head started to really hurt. And uh, uh, car worlds, digital worlds, uh, robot worlds, they're like also these digital worlds. There's a world, physical world like here, world just like here. And uh, what stood from them is that also cars are being born and cars also choose their owners. Uh, cars choose their color, cars choose their saloon, and there was like, okay, okay, and they also understood that cars, if they are left outside alone, they start to suffer, uh, they start to feel sad, and that's why they start to rust, uh, to get rusty, uh, because they feel that they are left alone, and cars need a garage, uh, and they, uh, they thought, oh, yeah, it's like more oxygen and water outside, then, then they feel rust. But I said, uh, the being said, actually, look at, at the opposite, that uh, it's like through emotions, and emotions change like uh, uh, the, you know, the, how to say, the chemical um, process, and it, uh, the cars get older and older because they're left outside. And also what I understood, electrical instruments, all instruments need their place where they need to be stored and then they feel safe and then they don't feel sad and something like that. Uh, what else was there interesting? Um, uh, world of Kittens. Uh, world of Kittens, they are only world with kittens and uh, <laughs> the play and everything, they have everything they need, they, all, they are small kittens, only small kittens, and they play around, they dance around, they drink milk, they are so happy, they are playful, so happy, and nobody goes there, nobody goes there. And I ask, uh, and then one lady said, she also channeled that world, said, and, oh, what do you understood from that world? And she said that it's a world where uh, kittens who have been drowned, you know, you put kittens in a bag and throw them in the river, who have drowned, uh, that they go to that place. They have been taken to that place where they can play and dance around and ex ex a have uh, their time uh, where they can play and like, uh, no, you know, be a fully kitten to have this experience that was taken away from them. Uh, what else was... So basically what I'd say is that there are like infinite number of those worlds that you can like enter and see them and talk with them. It's like man, so so amazing, so so interesting and uh, yeah, so exciting. And but they are like I just mentioned a couple of them, but they are like uh, and just the variety of them. They are like many, many, many of them. One was also when I entered was a human planet, which live without some electrical devices without electricity it's it, to me it looks like a year of 1800 year of 1600 year of 1700 and they are like they have some wooded houses but they're the the architecture looks different like here but they don't have the stress as we humans have them the anger as we humans have them they are just peaceful living uh, interesting humans that live out their world and I would say really peaceful, really peaceful, peaceful and talking. And also this uh, human world was really interesting. And they don't travel in time and space as I understood, but they are like totally relaxed, totally chillful. And uh, <coughs> what else was there? What I understood f also about the Earth. That Earth is also always on the quarantine, 
that if nobody is looking after us, everything will be destroyed already. And when I talk about this world, this planet of humans peaceful, they don't have anybody to look after them because they're always peaceful. They're always you don't you don't see the possibility of them to like be become extinct or destroy each and every as here. So basically, here everybody is looking after us from the moon, from the planet moon. Okay, this is enough for talking. I think I need to go and uh, I would uh, create more and more videos in English. So thank you for listening. 25, 25, woo! Like excitement and excitement.